variables. In the world of programming, variables are like containers that hold different types of information. They allow us to store and manipulate data, making our programs dynamic and adaptable. In this lesson, we'll explore what variables are, how to declare and assign values to them, and how they are used in coding. Imagine variables as labeled boxes where you can store various things, such as numbers, text, or complex data. These boxes have names, called identifiers, which you choose to help you refer to the stored data easily. A variable can be of a specific data type, have a specific variable name, and contain a value. In this image, that data type is int, which stands for integer. This is how we declare or create variables in certain languages, like Java and C Sharp. However, in JavaScript, we do not specify data type. The variable name of the variable is age. This is how we use the variable in code. Instead of writing the number 20 all the time, the computer remember what's in the container. 20 is the value of the variable. If you ask the computer to write out age, it will write 20. Lastly, everything you make, all the variables you create, takes up memory. The variable is saved by the computer and remembered in the computer memory, and as such, reserves memory from the computer. In JavaScript, we use the following syntax to create a variable. Let age equal 21. Let name equal quotation marks Alice quotation marks. Variables can contain many different data types, but only one at a time. This data type above is a string. By using equal sign, we assign value to the variable. Variables must be created, declared, so that they can be stored in memory before they can be used by the computer. Once you've assigned values to variables, you can use them in your code. For example, console log, my name is name and I am age years old, will give, my name is Alice and I am 21 years old. You can also change variables once they're declared. If you write age equals 31, this changes the variable age whose value was 21 to the new value of 31. Now, if you typed console log, my name is name and I am age years old, you would get my name is Alice and I am 31 years old. Remember, you did not create a new variable, you changed the value of the old. Logic. So, what do we mean by logic? If bits and bytes are building blocks, logic can represent how we arrange those blocks. Logic serves as the architectural framework that organizes the fundamental building blocks of computing, the bits and the bytes. It's the blueprints that tell bits and bytes what is going to happen. In programming, an if-then statement is a way to make a decision based on a certain condition. It's like telling the computer, if something is true, then do something, otherwise don't do anything. If we break down the decisions that go into walking across the street using programming ter terms, we would get an if-then statement. To illustrate, consider common scenarios like pedestrians following traffic lights and using an if-then then statement. An if-then statement is a lot basic logical structure that presents conditions and their resulting actions. For instance, in the context of pedestrians and traffic lights, the statement might be, if the traffic light is green, then pedestrians can cross the street. The simple rule captures a logical sequence. If a specific condition is met, the light is green, then a particular action should be taken, pedestrians can cross. Now, let's zoom into this scenario of crossing a street to illustrate it even more further. Scenario is crossing the street. The condition is, is the traffic light green? The action, if the traffic light is green, is that it's safe to cross, else you should wait. 
Now, the following code is Python, and this is how the code might look like for this specific if statement. Now here's how it works. If traffic light is green, checks whether the condition if traffic light is green is true. Binary, true or false. If the condition is true, meaning that the traffic light is green, the program will execute the cross street action. If the condition is not true, false, the program will skip the cross street action and instead execute the wait at the corner action. This is similar how we make decisions in real life. If the traffic light is green, we cross the street, and if not, we wait. In programming, we use if-then statements to replicate this decision-making process in a logical way that the computer can understand. This is an algorithm. Systematic, step-by-step -step instructions engineered to solve problems or attain objectives. Consider an algorithm for efficient grocery shopping. This involves a meticulous sequence of steps, compiling a shopping list, navigating to the store, navigating the store, handpicking items, and proceeding to checkout. Exceptional algorithms are engineered to streamline processes elegantly, akin to guiding someone to the nearest store through a well-structured set of directions. Note that since computers are binary, we must formulate our conditions after that pattern. There is only true or false in programming. In its essence, logic guarantees predictability by sketching out a sequence of actions or factual events into its smallest components. It constitutes the art of crafting elegant and efficient pathways that deftly handle everyday tasks or tackle intricate challenges. Elegant algorithms solve problems as quickly and as simply as possible. They represent the most straightforward and efficient way to provide instructions. For example, how would you instruct someone to the nearest hospital? Speed, not smarts. Computers are incredibly fast. Imagine a super fast worker who can make a calculation in just one second. Now imagine one million of these workers all calculating at the same time. Non-stop for a full day. Sounds impressive? A modern day computer processor operating at gigahertz speed can perform billions of calculations per second, far surpassing our imaginary workers. But computers lack intelligence. If you string all the tasks computers do together, they give the illusion of a super smart piece of technology. In reality, everything a computer does is built of millions and millions of small calculations. They do exactly what you tell them to do. So the challenge lies in expressing what you want to do in such a precise, concrete and incremental way that leaves no room for misinterpretation. You need to get down to the dumb level of the computer and then the computer will do what you tell it to do extremely fast. This is a video of a father asking his children to write him instructions on how to make a peanut butter sandwich and illustrating all the ways it can go wrong. This is an extremely accurate way of portraying what it's like to write code. I highly, highly recommend this as a watch, if not for pure entertainment. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.